In Melee, it's a must that your inputs are processed reliably and precisely. Given the game's lightning-fast pace, anything short of responsive inputs can make or break the outcome of a match. That is exactly why it's so shocking that Melee contains a glitch that conflicts with basic input processing. Believe it or not, the competitive Melee community has played with this glitch for the past 20 years. The glitch I'm referring to is called the Polling Drift. The Polling Drift first gained attention about half a decade ago when it was discovered by several Melee modders. The Faster Melee team then snuck a fix for the Polling Drift into the Netplay client they released in 2016. The FM team fixed the polling drift out of the belief that it had no business existing, which was a perfectly reasonable thing to do in retrospect. However, the polling drift remains unfixed on the vast majority of CRT melee setups. This video will explain why the polling drift fix should be standardized on CRT as well. To put it simply, the polling drift is such a strange glitch that it's almost hard to believe it exists. The way the polling drift works is as follows. Approximately every 8 seconds, Melee alternates between having normal input latency and an additional half a frame of input latency. This means that 50% of a Melee match is played with an extra half a frame of latency that causes inputs to be delayed. Additionally, if the shift between the two phases occurs when you're in the middle of timing two inputs relative to each other, then the second input can be offset by a frame, which means it won't line up properly. This phenomenon can be seen by plugging a controller that has a multi-shine macro into a CRT setup and letting it play out. Eventually, the macro will fail because of the polling drift. The polling drift is undoubtedly a glitch that doesn't belong in competitive play. Luckily, the codes needed to fix this glitch have been available for quite some time. I'm going to hold off on distributing these codes for now since I'm in the process of releasing a four-part series in which I advocate for various software mods and rule set changes. The next video within this series will be released in two days on Friday, October 1st. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're a fan of this type of melee content.